So I wonder what RDD data frames and data sets would be like if they were characters in a college group project. So uh, difference between RDD data frame and data set in Spark, it uh, mostly asked in interviews. So uh, let's understand this with an interesting example. So uh, RDD, we can say it's a, that old school, no nonsense guy. He says, I don't need a, a structure. Give me a raw data and full control. I'll handle it like a pro. But uh, also he brings, we can see, a typewriter to a laptop exam. So coming to the definition, uh, RDD is Spark's low-level le low uh, fault-tolerant uh, data structure, great for custom operations on unstructured uh, data. Now coming to the data frame, we can say data frame is that uh, trendy one. He walks in with a MacBook and says, I don't code everything manually. I use optimization, SQL queries, and let catalyst do the heavy lifting but he sometimes forget the actual column name he is using so coming to the formal definition we can say data frame is a distributed table with uh, named uh, columns optimized via catalyst engine great performance and uh, easy to use coming to the data set it's a hybrid geek half nerd and half cool we can say he says i got type safety from rdd and speed from data frame so i'm like an iron man of spark api but also scala and java can hang with him python folks are not allowed so coming to the definition we can say it's typed optimize safe collection of objects best of both rdd and data frame unless you're using python yeah so stay tuned for more such data engineering content thanks for